this is an AND gate with A and B inputs. What is the alternate gate representation for this component? Let's start with step one. What do we do? Step one, we look at the inputs. Is there an inverter on these inputs? The answer is no, there isn't. So in our alternate gate representation, we draw two inputs, but these two inputs will have inverters, just the opposite. Next, let's look at the component itself. What kind of a component is this? This is an AND gate. The opposite of an AND gate is an OR gate. So let's draw an OR gate here. Next, let's look at the output. The output has an inverter on it. So our output on the alternate gate representation will have no inverter on it. And these two are the same set. This is an AND gate, and this too is an AND gate. But are they logically the same? Let's find out. How do we represent the NAND gate on the left, logically? It's A and B, quantity knotted. Over here on the right, what do we have? We have A naught or B naught. Are these two the same? Let's find out. Let's apply De Morgan's law to the NAND gate on the left. We have a quantity knotted, so we can split it at the operator. Let's do so, giving us A naught and becomes an OR. B naught drops down, and we have A naught or B naught. Ooh la la, maison fin. Look at what we got here. We have the same same. So these two components are logically equivalent. This is Gary D, a.k.a. George Bull. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.